Hello and welcome back to RimWorld. And in the last episode, uh, at the very end, we had some uh, guests. Uh, well, uninvited guests uh, popping out of the ground around the deep drill. Now, the deep drill disturbed them. It, it basically spawned um a bug uh infestation which meant that yeah we had to take care of it and um it wasn't easy uh now we actually came out of it fairly unscathed so very little damage was done now, insect meat should not be allowed in anything. Not even kibble, I would say. Insect meat, turn that off. And make kibble meat um. hmm? why is this turned off this needs to be on uh. this needs to be off then we need to turn off insect meat and human meat not that I think it matters in kibble but whatever and then we need to go in here and say insect meat off I think we can sell uh, insect meat we should be able to use that anyway all oh, right i turned off meat for the simple one actually cook simple meal that's turned off uh, meat uh, human meat insect meat that's turned off Okay, but there we go. That means we are butchering, but we should not use the insect meat at all. Hopefully. Um, and I not sure if we can sell it we might be able to but we might also not be able to uh, we have our base planned uh, we did a bit of cheating uh, actually with the dev uh, dev mode and replaced a lot of uh, mud with uh, regular soil um, and that was mostly because uh, it would have taken forever to uh, do with moisture pumps and we had two failed attempts so I felt that for the sake of the series not being prolonged unnecessarily I felt like that kind of thing was justified so here we are we are going to start making these walls i will make the walls first and then we can start getting uh, things 
uh, other things added. Now, we need to make sure that anything we put in into these rooms are basically excellent quality or better. Depending on what it is, we might um, allow something like good quality. But I'm not super sure if we will allow good uh, good quality even we might actually be a bit picky about this and uh, say that it needs to be at least excellent quality now we can make stuff in excellent quality quite reliably so it shouldn't be that much of a problem to be honest but we'll see we will see. We have almost 4,000 steel. We have 1,040 plasteel. Yeah, we should have something like 300 more than we need. And... I want... Uh, the fortress up and running before we actually make the ship parts. Uh, the ship parts is going to be more or less the last things we put in. Because once we build them, I will... I, I want to have everyone more or less moved over into this fortress already which means all the food needs to be done um, all the resources and all the defenses needs to be moved over and built and so on and so forth uh, shoot frenzy okay and yeah we have um, we have a few good uh, not healers, builders. So we shouldn't have any problems making this. Let's cut that out. Getting a bit more components is going to be nice. We have a bulk goods trader going through. That's good. Um, bulk goods trader is one of the few that basically buys and sells, sells everything and anything. Um, the thing with that is... Like the reason why that's important that I care that they do that is because if if an animal is um, no not animal if uh, whatever thing you're selling is something that is very valuable but very few wants to touch like the very few that actually wants to deal with that kind of thing uh, for example human meat or human leather um, is not that many who wants to wants to have anything to do with uh, and since there's very few that deal with those kind of items, it means that the value of certain traders is a lot higher than others. And I would say especially the bulk goods trader is the absolute most valuable one to, to get. Because... 
what what it means if you can buy and sell from them is that there is very few things that is stuff that they don't want to trade with, uh, in so yeah of course um I think all the uh, bulk goods trader and exotic goods trader, I believe, is the two that's really, really good. And then the pirate merchant and the weapons merchant, I believe, is really good as well. But And we have a Manhunter pack. Uh... Dromedaries have entered the area. What we are going to do here is make sure that everybody is set to be in the base. And they should go for for the traders. Oh Yikes. Uh. <laughs> oh. I completely forgot about that door that freaking door uh, every single time i forget about the doors yeah they, this uh, just try to bottleneck why is there a door there that's really ugh. there shouldn't be a door there whatever Hopefully we can overwhelm them by enough, having enough firepower. Well, at least at least we have a lot of meat flowing into the base. Uh, but dead in nine hours, no immediate danger. Uh. Yeah, let, let's see if we can rescue them once the animals needs to go away. Yeah, two more. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Um, what we need to do is put people to unrestricted again. Uh, the animals needs to be fixed yet again. Uh, the alpaca child. There we go. And let's 
let's put me into rescuing. Here's a question. Do we want to capture them? Bilioka, we don't want to. Absolutely not. Gorilla, we actually might want to capture because incapable of none undergrounder uh, and jogger industrious uh, we might want to capture this one and then rescue Billy Oak okay whatever for the time being let's uh, save just in case something happens uh, it turned out I think with the amount of animals in that manhunter pack uh, it turned out um, quite well for us at least and I would say that's uh, capturing will anger her faction. The only thing is, they are already pissed. They are still neutral. Um, if relations fall below zero, they will become hostile. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. We'll we'll see. Um regardless. I think We are going to do just that. Capturing Gorilla. Uh, guaranteeing the possibility to recruit her. And then Bilioka is... Whatever. Uh, oh. Yeah, hostile. As I suspected... And yeah, since they went hostile, I can't rescue. So what we need to do is actually capture. This is kind of stupid, but it's what it is. And uh, let's... Uh, unforbid everything. No, no, no. No. Not that one. Oh, you're there. Um. Now we can set them to for prisoners and are they taken care of gorilla is bilioka is not uh, i do believe fixing him up is what we want to do and once that's done we are going to set to release now how is yeah, that recruitment can take some time. Um, and you get, you get to be released. Give him food, that's actually quite good. Uh, you can be butchered. And yeah, we have a lot of uh, food. Uh, 
meat spilling all over the place all the way into the prison through the walls uh. but yeah that was um interesting <laughs> It's um, it's what it, it's to be expected in the light game because yeah, it's the light game. So you basically need to be um, you need to expect this to happen and have it as a possibility. Bilioka is now leaving since it's just one in there it's a lot less um, likely for Gorilla to try to escape since she is now uh, alone and Choco and Paula is getting married, apparently. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much food is going to be wasted here. I'm suspecting a lot of it is going to go to waste. Because, yeah. How is this going? Construction seems to be progressing quite well. This has been more or less mined out now. Yeah, completely mined out. Good. Uh, let's see if we can remove those things and yeah I do think what we what I should be doing is actually increase the package survival meal to a lot more than what it is i'm not sure how many of them we are going to need i suspect we are going to need quite a lot of them now the thing is i'm not going to continue playing after the ship has been sent so even if everyone can't uh, go on the ship, I'm going to call it there. Uh, and I'm not actually sure how the game handles the quote-unquote end of the game. Because uh, to be honest, I have never ever... Um, actually finished the game i have never launched the spaceship or gone to the spaceship that's uh, on the map somewhere i have never traveled to where it is or anything like that so it's going to be interesting to see Thankfully, it's actually cold enough outside that the freezer is still uh, below zero, which is nice. And that's only possible because the corridor is narrow, which means there's not a lot of heat that can escape 
uh, which means that the four coolers can actually keep the space indoors cool enough. Uh, let's see, you had kids? Age five hours. Yeah, there's three of you. Peace talk. Where is it? Uh, hmm. If we go from here to here, it is not even a day. And then back again. We're looking at something like one and a half days. Which isn't actually that bad. I am. Um, but I do think... I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not, but that's at least good to know. Uh, Mad Ibex Doe. Is it just the one? That seems to be the case. You please go down there and remove that door, please. Speed up. Where is the animal? Um, <sighs> yeah. Okay. Well done, Paulson. I'm sorry for not really keeping enough attention on where you were and where it was. I apologize and um, you managed to Take care of it splendidly, regardless, which is very good. And um, why is Viper? Oh, because of the scratch car and your depressive, and yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. yep. Cargo pods. What is it? Wake up. Okay, yeah, that's not going to be acceptable. Ah, I think what we need to do is have something like a really small stockpile. And we are going to allow... Is it under manufactured drugs? Yeah, there we go. 
and then keep it on critical. Burning drugs. Let's prioritize hauling that. I want to see this gone before we end the episode, which we should be doing. And all of it is gone. Good. Good, good, good. Now we don't need to worry about the animals eating it or any of the people in the colony eating it. So, yeah. There we go. Uh, we took care of... some really annoying things and managed to spot a few issues where there were no door over here and there were a door too much over here so that's fixed now and we have almost completed the granite walls the inner granite walls around the core so yeah with that i think we will end this episode and continue onwards in the next so thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one